Hello and today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce QuickBooks Connected plugin. So as we know that the QuickBooks is an accounting software and uh, one can track and manage the sales and business transactions and that's why we have created this particular uh, integration uh, for the WooCommerce store there. So basically there are two versions available. One is the QuickBooks Online and the QuickBooks Desktop. So we're basically using the WooCommerce QuickBooks Connector. Now the store admin will be able to synchronize the WooCommerce store orders on the QuickBooks itself. And all of the information that is related to the orders, such as the customer name, email address, items ordered, billing address, etc., are synchronized with the QuickBooks account. And it also uh, synchronizes the customers who have placed the orders and, the, and sync the product for which the orders have been placed as well. So basically all in all this plugin will streamline and manage uh, allow you to manage your account information there also kind of know that uh, you need to have the uh, api credentials uh, that include the oauth consumer key the oauth token secret and the oauth consumer secret as well and uh, please note that uh, this particular plugin that's the woocommerce quickbooks connected plugin supports the uh, quickbooks online so what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through uh, the workflow of the same at the admins end. We'll be seeing how we can configure this uh, particular plugin initially and uh, thereafter how the web store admin would be able to import and export the data there for the customers, products and the orders. So before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. If uh, you find this particular video helpful, then do get a, give it a thumbs up from your end. Now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see how this particular uh, uh, WooCommerce QuickBooks Connected plugin can be configured by the uh, WooCommerce platform based to web store admin. So uh, I'll just take you there now. So we'll be logging into the admin backend panel first. So uh, the admin must have uh, an account at uh, QuickBooks itself. So uh, this is a section uh, for the quickbooks.intu.com and these are the list of the global pricing there you can create a 30-day trial uh, as well apart from that you can also choose any of these uh, plans here for uh, the quickbooks so our plugin just integrates it uh, the quickbooks with the woocommerce so you should be having these any of these uh, uh, accounts initially so as to completely make use of the features of the uh, particular plugin there so i've logged into uh, uh, so I've logged into my admin backend panel for my WooCommerce platform based web store and after the successful installation of this particular QuickBooks Connector plugin, you'll see the QuickBooks Connector option on the side hand uh, side uh, panel here for the admin and here we have the customers, products, orders and settings. So let me take you to the settings uh, section first and then we'll be navigating to the customers, products and orders. So in the uh, meantime, what I'll be doing is I'm just going to the settings section. I'll just show you how you can obtain uh, the uh, QuickBooks API credentials uh, for the OAuth 2 there. Uh, that includes the client ID and the uh, client secret itself. So for that, uh, I'll just take you uh, uh, to the user guide of this particular plugin to demonstrate that. And you can also check the uh, a live demo that we have added within the description below and the user guide for much more information there. So. Uh, so here you can see that I've gone to the settings section for the account set, uh, settings here. So uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, add your account here so that uh, this particular plugin works uh, smoothly. So here you need to enter your OAuth consumer key or the client ID, the client secret. So after entering the uh, client ID and the client secret, you don't need to have to enter the access token or the refresh token or the uh, company ID here. So as soon as we are connecting uh, to our uh, uh, QuickBooks account these uh, details would then be autofilled that is this one this one and this one along with the this as well so actually these three one they'll be autofilled after we have uh, connected to our QuickBooks account so let me come down so from here you can choose the mode of the operation whether you want to have it as a sandbox mode or the testing modes uh, then you'll have to choose the development mode otherwise you can choose a live or the production mode if you want to make uh, the uh, product live within your store so accordingly you can choose the uh, mode of the plugin there then you can choose the authentication mode as OAuth 2 you also need to enter the order mapping on quickbooks so uh, basically uh, for this one uh, you can choose from sales receipt invoice estimate or the credit memo uh, so uh, any one of these uh, statuses if uh, set then the order mapping on quickbooks would be done automatically 
So at the time of sale receipt, at that time, uh, the order would automatically be mapped onto the QuickBooks there. Then uh, uh, we have to uh, select uh, the asset account, expense account, and the income account. So from the drawdown, just uh, choose this like asset account, expense, and the rest of the ones. So for example, uh, for the, the asset account, this particular account is for maintaining the record of all the products that have been created in the QuickBooks. So the selected asset account will also reflect on the product information in QuickBooks. And the same goes for the expense account. It's for the maintaining the records of all the expenses in the QuickBooks. And the selected expen expense account is also reflected on the product information within the QuickBooks. And lastly, we have the income uh, account and it's also for maintaining the record of the income in the QuickBooks and lets the admin to track the business income much more conveniently. And the selected income account would reflect on the product information in the QuickBooks there. So you'll just have to choose the default ones. Then you'll have to uh, select the tax code in which the tax amount will be synchronized. So you can choose that up. And lastly, you can set the uh, synchronization slot number, which is used to set the number of records. That will be synchronized at a time and it should be between uh, the number three and uh, three to 50 there. Right now you can see that we are not connected to our account. So without these three things, we'll have to enter our client secret and the rest of the things. Then we need to uh, tap here on the uh, button. So we'll just tap here on the connect to uh, QuickBooks button. So this brings up this particular section wherein the uh, admin just needs to uh, log into his uh, QuickBooks account. So after entering your username password, you just need to tap here in the sign in button. And thereafter, we'll have to select the company uh, that we want to uh, choose. So uh, let me show you that. So after you've tapped here in the sign in button, you will be redirected again there. And you'll see that you'll have to uh, select your uh, QuickBooks uh, company there. After choosing your appropriate company here, you'll have to uh, proceed further by tapping the continue button. And then you'll be seeing this uh, particular section uh, where you need to select uh, connect basically. And here you'll be tapping on the connect button. And uh, while your uh, account is uh, verified, after verification, you'll again be uh, brought back to your section in the configuration settings as you can see. And now the uh, access token, refresh token, and the realm ID would be auto filled. And here you can see uh, the connected icon now. So thereafter, you just need to tap here on the uh, save account button to completely uh, make the complete initial configuration settings for this particular plugin that we have at hand. Also, can you know that you sh uh, the web admin should have uh, any one of the accounts uh, that are listed on the Intuit itself? Right now, we're using the uh, 30 days uh, uh, free trial one so uh, this is not uh, any way connected to our plugin so our plugin just uh, helps us to uh, integrate the uh, quickbooks with the woocommerce platform so you'll have to have your quickbooks plan as per your own requirement there now let me take you back now let me show you how you can get the quickbooks api credentials uh, that is uh, the client uh, id and the uh, client secret keys that we need in the configuration section there so for that you'll have to navigate to the developer.intuit.com and here you'll have to create a new account in if even if you are already having an account uh, so you'll have to uh, tap on the uh, sign up button at the top right hand corner thereafter you'll have to register yourself as uh, we did already then uh, you'll have to verify of your phone number through the o2p so you'll have to enter the o2p that you received on your mobile device and uh, thereafter uh, after the verification your account would be created on the quickbooks and after that you'll uh, be able to see a page as you can see right now uh, so as to choose the quickbooks online and payments or the qbms legacy so we need to choose any one of them so we'll be choosing the quickbooks online and payment and uh, as soon as we have uh, chosen that particular uh, uh, app here uh, you'll have to name your particular app and you'll have to set the scope of the app as well so uh, the selected scope uh, for the apis that you're uh, you would be accessing so uh, for that uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to use uh, the application in the sand mode for example then you can make your use of the uh, so for example if you are using the application in the sandbox mode then you can make use of the development keys and uh, when you're using it in the live mode then you can make use of the production keys. so for that you'll have to just go to the development uh, keys in OAuth and uh, after I go to the keys in auth 
uh, and the OAuth section uh, I'll be able to uh, find the details of my KAuth there and here we'll be having the uh, secret key and the client ID as well and uh, this would then be used in the backend configuration settings so uh, can you know that you must set the redirect URL and to set that you'll have to go to the redirect URL and you'll have to enter the redirect URL here by tapping on the end URL button and uh, for example here you can see the uh, example that we've given for the uh, uh, redirect URL so uh, basically it brings you back to your backend panel there so here you can see that we have example.com forward slash admin forward slash cookbooks connect wp admin admin.php question mark page equals to qbook hyphen setting so this kind of a uh, url you'll have to set for the uh, redirect url now now coming back to the quickbook connector in the admin back in the panel here we have the customers products order so let's uh, open them one by one so under the customers section the admin will synchronize the customers uh, here very easily and uh, to uh, export the customers to the quickbooks the uh, admin just needs to choose the uh, customers uh, from by uh, checking the check boxes here and then tapping in the export customers button and this would basically export the customer details to your uh, quickbooks account there similarly you can also uh, import the uh, customer details from the quickbooks into your woocommerce store and for that you'll have to uh, tap here on the import customers button and that would basically import the products from the quickbooks into the woocommerce store Apart from that, the admin can activate, deactivate or delete any of the uh, customers that we can see here. So you can choose any of the customers there in bulk and you can activate, deactivate or delete any one of them and can tap the apply button to apply the respective action that you want to do. The same thing goes for the products and the orders as well. So uh, also the list uh, listing of these customers that you can see here are the complete uh, customers of your WooCommerce store so all of those customers would be displayed here within the customer list so for example if you want to export the customer just choose the particular customer and then tap here in the export customers button that will start its the synchronization there from the WooCommerce to your uh, QuickBooks account and as soon as the export completes you can see the export is complete and uh, one customer has been synchronized from your WooCommerce store into the QuickBooks there and then the admin can uh, access his uh, QuickBooks account go to the sales and then customers and under the customers here the admin can find the uh, customer that the uh, admin has uh, exported from the WooCommerce into uh, the QuickBooks account there and from here the admin can perform different uh, uh different uh, op, uh operations on this particular customer as well so now let's go back and the same thing goes uh, for the importing of the customers uh, so you will have to just tap here in the import customers uh, button and as soon as this synchronization completes you can see that the import has completed and two customers have been imported from the uh quickbooks into your woocommerce web store there so here you can see under the uh, sync source we have the woocommerce to uh, the QuickBooks and then QuickBook to WooCommerce uh, uh, synchronization for the customer list and here you have the QuickBooks customer ID the sync source all right so that's how the customer import export works now let's go to the products and let's see how we can import and export the products uh, vice versa from Woo to QuickBooks and from QuickBooks to WooCommerce again so here under the products you can find the complete list of products within your WooCommerce store and from here you'll be able to make bulk actions like you can delete any of the products uh, from the product list apart from that you can also import the products from QuickBooks into your WooCommerce store and you can also export the products from the WooCommerce to your uh, QuickBooks so for example here you can see that I've already synchronized a few under the sync source you can see that the uh, the product has been exported from WooCommerce into the QuickBooks and this particular rock fountain has been synchronized or imported from the QuickBooks into your uh, WooCommerce uh, store. So here you can see the QuickBook product ID is there, the sync source is there, and the WooCommerce product ID is the initial column. In the initial column, you can see the uh, product ID within the WooCommerce store itself. So the same goes for the export. You just choose the products that you want to export to your QuickBooks, tap on the export products, and then the products would be uh, synced and exported 
and the same goes for your import ones you'll have to just tap here on the import products so whichever new products are there on your quickbooks they would be imported and be uh, displayed here within this particular uh, product section now let's go to the last uh, option that we have here is the auto section and to give you an uh, example of the product uh, synchronization so you can see that uh, we have uh, basically exported the product uh, uh, from the WooCommerce into the uh, QuickBooks so that's why it has this thing source as WooCommerce and the QuickBooks product ID and uh, the details are visible here and here you can see that the two products have been synchronized and the same is being reflected within the QuickBooks as well so if you, you log into your QuickBooks account there you can see the VNIC test uh, particular uh, uh, product being uh, displayed there under the products and services uh, with the details of that particular product like the SKU type sales description the sales price cost quantity on hand low stock alert and an option to edit under the actions column as for the quickbooks there now uh, coming to the order section if uh, the woocommerce customers and the products have not uh, been exported to the quickbooks then in this case the woocommerce orders of those customers or products uh, will be exported to the quickbooks uh, there so you can just tap here in the export orders to export the particular orders from the woocommerce store into your uh, QuickBook, QuickBooks account. So here you can see that we have a few orders that we've already synchronized from the WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce store to the uh, QuickBooks uh, itself. So here you can see the QuickBooks order ID. And here we have the order IDs of the QuickBooks uh, orders that we have uh, imported or exported from the WooCommerce store into the QuickBooks itself. Here as well, you can delete any of the orders that are being displayed here and after choosing the appropriate action and the ones that you want to delete you can choose them and tap on the apply button to apply the delete option for those uh, particular orders now let me uncheck these options here so where to export orders you just need to tap here on the export orders button and it will start uh, the synchronization there and as soon as the synchronization is complete you'll see the uh, products being uh, exported to the quickbooks from your woocommerce web store and the orders that are being displayed here are the complete list of orders that have been placed within the WooCommerce store itself. And also kindly note that you just need to choose the orders that you want to export uh, from the WooCommerce into the uh, QuickBooks there. And after checking them up, you'll just tap on the export orders button. I'm sorry for that. I had to tell you that uh, earlier itself, but uh, I just forgot to do that. Uh, forgot that particular step there. Also, can you note that if the auto has been placed uh, using the point of sale uh, system for the WooCommerce uh, there, then it, will, then it will be displayed under the source of the orders as the POS. As you can see, so here you have the order source as POS. This one is from the WooCommerce. All of those uh, orders are basically being displayed here to the uh, admin. And then likewise, the admin can uh, access a QuickBooks account to check uh, uh, the exported orders in the QuickBooks. And finally note that the uh, order information which will be synchronized is the customer info, the product info, payment method, shipping method and the uh, WooCommerce order IDs plus the taxes as well. So uh, that was much about the uh, plugin that's the uh, WooCommerce QuickBooks uh, connected plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the uh, plugin. If you still have any questions, queries or suggestions then kindly reach back to us at support at the or you can also raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com or you can contact us through www.webcool.com forward slash contact. And lastly, if you find this particular video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.